Piggy Bank! What's poppin' players? We back with the Piggy Bank. Piggy Bank time. Uh, oh. I'm your host, Tavin Bothel, here with my good gaming buds, Connor Elliott, Phil Shoemaker. Say hello to the people, baby. Hello. All, hello all, of, you, all of you penny sabers. Penny sabers? Pe the penny the penny pinchers, I think is what penny, I said last week. Penny I don't pinchers, remember. yes, yes, there yes. We go. Penny pinchers, that's, that's better. Good seeing yeah. you guys for the first time today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we totally did not just, you know, record a Dishonored review that's going up tomorrow, youtube.com slash gamescast. Anyways, uh, why would you ladies, even say that? Yeah, why would you even say that? Ladies and gentlemen, this is your casual mm. gaming podcast where it's just three three gaming dudes just kind of hanging out, talking to each other, and we're going to play uh, a couple of mini games. Uh, in fact, we're going to start off with a mini game right here. Uh, and here. Uh, you know what? Before I thought I would switch up the order, but uh, I decided no, I don't want to. Uh, <laughs> so. Uh, gentlemen, I'm starting with my first mini game. I'm going to do sort of an either or game, uh, in which I'm going to pitch you two games and you are to guess which game did better in its opening week slash weekend. If I couldn't find, if I couldn't find certain numbers or whatever. So, uh, I've, I've collected some games. I've put them in, you know, kind of sort of some categories. And at the end, I'm going to do a little bonus question just for funsies. Phil. So is it like if one of us picks one game do we have like buzz in or what uh no just pick pick whichever one you guys you gentlemen want and then uh and then i'll reveal it once you give your two answers okay yeah yeah good good uh good question there good question there yeah so i've got uh three questions and then a bonus fourth question at the end that'll that'll be a little different so uh starting off which one sold more in its opening weekend? Hey, I'm, I'm Phil, by the way, and that's Connor. We said, I said that. I said that. Oh, did you? I said that. Oh, yeah, 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 it was said. It was said. Oops. Uh, Oops. In its opening <laughs> week slash weekend, uh, which one sold more? We're pitting up some Naughty Dog games, because, you know, I'm a shill. Uh, Last of Us Part Two, or Uncharted 4? I knew it. Ah, uh, well, opening week? Opening, opening. I have, I have specifically. I have the numbers for Uncharted 4's uh, opening week. Last of Us Part Two. I could only find the, or, or most of them. I tried to find the weekend or the first three days or whatever. Um, Uncharted Four. I could only find the first week. I think it was one of those things that it like came out on a Tuesday. Uh huh. Okay. Well, that makes it more difficult because my initial I'm reaction is to say Uncharted Four. I'm crunching it's numbers. So, mm -hmm. It's a week versus a weekend, but Last of Us Two was like. You know what? Last was part two. I'm just going well, in with it. That makes it easy because I'm I'm picking Uncharted Four. Ooh. In its first seven days of release, Uncharted <laughs> Four sold 2.7 million units. In its release weekend, The Last of Us Part Two sold over four million copies worldwide. Oh, I got it. Wow, all right. <laughs> People were hungry, Phil. People were hungry for that Last of Us part, too. Apparently. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then, so much so that they couldn't recognize Uncharted 4 as a better game. Ooh. Oof, 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 yeah, I don't even think... Right. <laughs> oh, God, Connor is going to go there. No, no <laughs> absolutely not. Um, fun fact, Last of Us part 2 uh, became the fastest-selling PlayStation 4 exclusive oh. in, that, See, I, in that weekend. Do I knew we, there was some like do we record think broken that, by that God of War Ragnarok is going to beat it. Yeah, honestly, yeah, I think so. I think Ragnarok is more accessible than Last of Us Part Two is. God of War is in general. I think it might. Mm -hmm. I remember there's a good saying, there's a good chance it does. There's a good chance it does. I remember there was, there was a Twitter post of someone saying that their mom was asking about that game and she's never played a video game before in her life. <laughs> so, you know, maybe that's well, an indication. She probably she probably just hot for Kratos. Speaking Maybe. of God of War, gentlemen, my next category is 2018. Mm -hmm. 2018, Here. we saw the releases of uh, Sony Santa Monica's God of War and Insomniac's Spider-Man. Both I, I, I picked these two specifically because they're both PlayStation exclusive, so there's no like edge yeah. in terms of hardware. I don't want to. I don't want to think out loud here, but my gut says one way, but then my head is like, "Oh, maybe the other way." Mm, mm, well, I think mm. I'm right alongside you there. This is a harder one than the last one, because at least that one I could say like, "My last of us mm. was because I knew it broke record, a record." Uh -huh. I knew what it was. This one I don't know. 
All right, I'll say gentlemen. I'll say gentlemen. Uh, this is the closest uh, duo of all okay. of them. Connor, since you since you went first last time, I'll go first this time. Wait, wait, no. Wait. Or do you want to go at the same time? Count, count, count. No, the, the, the audio audio would be terrible. Audio would be no, terrible. Like, One okay, and then the okay, other. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> all right, I'll go first. Um, I'm gonna. So my gut, my gut. I'm 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 going with my head, but my gut says God of War. My head says Spider Man. Because I so want. You're, but you're going heart, with your gut, so you're choosing. Head. You're choosing God of War. What? Oh, no, I'm choosing. No, I said my. I said I'm going with my head and my heart. Okay. Which is Spider Man. Oh, okay. There we go. All right. Phil, so Phil chooses Spider Man. Connor. Spider Man or God of War? I'm in a picky situation now because mm-hmm. I was going to say Spider Man solely because it's Spider Man and people are idiots and they're brain dead and they're thinking, oh, well, I'm going to go with Spider Man because Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man. But God of War is a bigger game than Spider Man was coming up. The, so and, I, and when you think about it, God of War had four, four, five, depending on how you count it, six games under its belt. It did. Prior to that one. Spider Man had like ten, but I know. I mean, it was the first in it was the first in series. I know, I know, it's different. Um, so now, I, now do I do I go with Phil and say Spider Man, or do I just give a little bit of a, a nice tension thing going? It's you know, either gonna, it's either you, you you get it wrong and we tie, or you get it right and we're and you're still ahead. You know what? I am going to prove in that case. You're right, Phil, that I am going to be the winner, okay. the definitive winner of this game. So I will say God of War. Not because I know it to be, because I want to win. In its opening weekend, God of War was PlayStation's fastest selling uh, uh, exclusive on the PS4, selling 3.1 million copies. Mm -hmm. However, just a few months later, Spider-Man broke that record at Mm. 3.3. That is a 200,000 copy difference. Spider Man. Spider Man is like, it, it, he. It's the most mark. I think he's the most marketable superhero name. Like, yeah. I may, like, the only one that I think might um, be ahead of it would be Batman. It's it's Superman, Batman, and Spidey. Those are the big three. Like, yeah. the the. It's hard to beat in terms of popularity. It's hard to beat that. And then of those three, I think Spider Man. People want to play Spider Man before they want to play Batman. Yeah, I, I mean, just the. The power you, you think powers, you know, like mm-hmm. fucking who wouldn't want Spider Man's powers? Yeah, Tra- traversal alone, it's hard to beat that. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, and the marketing for the 2018 Spider Man was off the chain. Like it was everywhere that game, big, big, big yep. game. Uh, I to the point to where you still see like I, it still comes up on my TikTok feed. Uh, oh yeah, every so often of just Spider Man wailing on some yep. dudes. That and also the the classic like Miles Morales like jump jumping around on his phone and then yep. they pull up the Spotify thing yeah yep the the this is actually my initial plan was to do entire franchise sales, uh but uh or my initial plan was to pit the two Spider Man games against each other Spider Man mm-hmm. and then Spider Man Miles Morales I couldn't find numbers for Spider Man Miles Morales wow okay uh-huh. yeah I know I found combined combined I'll save that for later anyways. Uh, gentlemen, in our third... Spider-Man 2018 beat wins against Miles Morales. I'm going to assume so because they didn't put numbers up. <laughs> mm. uh, if they, if they, That's a bragging point of like, yeah, our yeah. side game did better than our last game, but it yeah. didn't happen. Because it was even marketed as it was going to be like a shorter game, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Uh, it was told, but the, the actual marketing would have you believe that it was just another full game. Okay. Because of course they would. Gentlemen, now I'm reaching for... Two open world games, both mm. new IPs. The first is Horizon Zero Dawn. The second is Ghost of Tsushima. Which mm. one sold more in its first? And, and I will say this is another one where uh, the sales numbers were different because of the, what I could find. Ghost of Tsushima's first three days versus Horizon Zero Dawn's first week. I guess we'll alternate on who says what. Yeah, go ahead, Connor. It goes to Tsushima. I'm very confident that that's the answer. You know, I'm I'm my thought my thought process is so I know I'm I'm I, I consider myself kind of like the normie gamer. <laughs> sure. Um me I mean I still haven't really played all the way through of Horizon Zero Dawn. 
Um, and that being said, I only really heard, like looking at it for marketing. I was like, I mean, yeah, that's a game. But then I, I didn't hear anything about it until way after it released. Like as far as like people like bragging about it and everything. Ghost of Tsushima. Go ahead. Sorry, go, no, go ahead. No, no, like, no, no, no. Because no. I, I was, I was going to say something that might spoil it. So I'll uh, go. Oh, ahead. Okay. Um, Ghost of Tsushima, for me. I, I, I feel like everyone was talking about that game like right when it came out. Like, and I don't know. I, I part me. I want Ghost of Tsushima to, to beat Horizon Zero Dawn mm. because. I think Ghost of Tsushima is a phenomenal game. I'm sure Horizon Zero Dawn might also be a phenomenal game, but I feel like Ghost of Tsushima tickles my like fancy more than Horizon does. So I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with Connor. I'm also gonna go say Ghost. Smart. Horizon Zero Dawn, which broke records at the time for PlayStation's fastest selling new IP sold an estimated 1.83 million units in its first week at retail. Uh, and to, to approach Phil's point of he feels like he didn't hear much about it at release, it's probably because a week later, Zelda Breath of the Wild came out and totally, so true. totally took all of, the, all of the gas out of uh, yep. uh, Horizon Zero Dawn in terms of the conversation. Something similar that happened this year with Elden Ring and Horizon Forbidden yep, West. Horizon Forbidden West, I was just yeah. going to say. Oh, man, Horizon can't catch a break. Uh, no, and then know. Ghost of Tsushima, an exclusive release for Sony's PlayStation. The stealth game sold 2.4 million units worldwide in its first three days. So Ghost of Tsushima, both of you are correct. Ghost of Tsushima did better in its first uh, week release. Good yep. job, Connor. Nice job, Phil. So that ties both of you at two and two. Gentlemen, Perfect. I have a potential tiebreaker or... We'll just finish on a tie. Who knows? <laughs> Out of the six franchises I just listed to you, which one sold the most, encapsulating all releases? All releases. Yes. That that includes prior entries, uh, ports to new consoles, and uh, uh, ports to PC. So are we are we are we bundling Miles Morales and Spider Man twenty eighteen together? Yes. Spider Man. Connor. Uh. He's thinking, ladies and gentlemen. He's thinking real hard. He's trying he's he's going through all the options. Should I list all of your options again? Do you need to hear no. all the games? No, no? I remember. Okay. Uh, I remember the you said Uncharted, Uncharted, um, The Last, Last of Us, Us, God of War, Horizon, Ghost of Tsushima, and Spider Man. Yeah, okay. You it's know. it's really only between two for me, and I'm I'm picking Spider Man. I'm just gonna say God of War. That was not the other the other one. Phil, what was your other one? Last of Us. Mm. At 51 million units sold across the entire franchise. God of War is the highest selling of the oh, six franchises wow. I listed. Wow. I thought you were going to say Last of Us. I also thought you were going to say Last of Us. I thought so. It is PlayStation's third highest selling franchise behind, and I don't agree with this. Uh, <laughs> this is cheating. Behind Final Fantasy at 52 million. Yeah. That's cheating. Yeah. Multi-platform. No. That's multi-platform. The franchise is older than PlayStation. <laughs> like, loser. 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 Final Fantasy. The best game. <laughs> and number one. Gran Turismo at 80 million units, 30 okay. mi near okay. almost 30 million more okay. than Final Fantasy and God if, of War. So I'm going to go back to what I said earlier. If I'm a normie gamer, mm -hmm. fucking turbo Facebook normie gamers play Gran Turismo. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You got the, Gran Turismo is big everywhere. It's, it's big everywhere. It's not just big in the States. It's not just big in Japan. It's big everywhere. You know, um, we drive all the time. Are you such you losers say? that you find that much enjoyment from a 
fucking video game you don't, driving. You don't, you don't always not. get to drive so fast. Oh. Gentlemen, you you also oh, have to remember how long these franchises have been around. That's true. The top I, I, three. I, I, I was I was short sighted in saying Spider Man without considering God of War and all of its uh, prequels and such. You'll you'll notice the top three are ones of PlayStation Your like they've mm-hmm. been on multiple generations of consoles and they're still relevant today. You know what's crazy? Whereas other things, I'm I'm looking at Game Rant's top twelve Sony Playstations. Uh, uh, or Sony uh, top 12 PlayStation franchises in terms of sales. Number four, Phil, can you guess it? Number four? Yeah. Spider-Man. No. Number Last four is us. Crash Bandicoot. Oh, shit. Uh-huh. At 50 yeah. million. I like Crash. Number five is Tekken, also at 50 million. Mm. Number six, Uncharted, 44 million. Number seven, Ratchet and Clank at 27 million. Number eight, Spider-Man at 26.5. Spider-Man with two games has entered the top ten. Yep. That's nuts. With all of those old head names, yep. I know. Uh, Number nine, again, I think this is cheating, 26 plus million for Tomb Raider. Mm, Yeah, I don't... I I mean, especially Uh, considering considering that... Like most of the marketing for the 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 remakes were was on Xbox. Xbox, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Rise of the Tomb Raider at launch was Xbox exclusive, um, mm. which is nuts. Number ten is The Last of Us at twenty four million. Surprisingly, how low that is. Uh, <laughs> number eleven is Sing Star, which is a PlayStation Move like sing into a microphone mm-hmm. game. Yep. yep, yep. From the PS three, that was real popular. Fucking karaoke game. And then number twelve, Phil, you'll be glad to know, is Spyro. Hey. 20 million. Hey. What a guy. Spyro yeah. killing. So, Absolutely. Connor, you won. You pulled ahead right there at the no, end. Uh, you, I didn't know. Oh, here's what I was going to say. I, I, earlier I said, you know what's crazy? Fucking one of the first games I ever played in my entire life was Gran Turismo for the PlayStation 1. God, Gran Turismo's been around a long time. Yeah. Anyways. Gentlemen, that's all I got. Speak, uh, fucking... People are really excited about the God of War. <laughs> People yeah, like yeah. God of War. People like God of War. That's a lot of sales. That's a lot of that's a lot of units. But I mean, it, it, it makes sense. They're seven. They are seven games deep right now. Their eighth yeah. is about to come out. They've been around since the PlayStation Two, PSP titles. Um, God of War twenty eighteen is on PC now. Re releases of one, two, and three on multiple different consoles. And then they it just all makes sense the, when you think about it. The God of War 2018 PC port. Yeah, yeah, which did which did numbers. Surprisingly, yeah. uh, what was it that just didn't? Um, the Lost Legacy collection for Uncharted uh, flopped on PC. Nobody that cared. It dropped like a week and a half ago, didn't it? Yes, I think it was like yeah, a week and a half, two weeks two ago, weeks something ahead. like that. Yeah, yeah. I got people it didn't for care. Free. PS Plus. Mm. No, I on my PC. I just made my P, my uh, my uh, my PC, and with the uh-huh. motherboard and CPU that I bought, they said, hey. With a purchase of a motherboard from Newegg, you get a free copy of A Lost Legacy for PSC. That's cool. I was That's like, there you go. That's neat. Yeah, I got Whenever we do a hype of that, I'll be there. <laughs> Connor, you've played on. Oh, you didn't play Lost Legacy. There we go. I did not. Um, yeah. No. God of War fucking yes, yes. sells a lot God of units. Of sells a lot of units that got a war and uh nice. just because i don't know if we'll be able to talk about it on the podcast this week uh, especially because our dishonor review went so long uh ragnarok right around this fucking corner gentlemen yep uh, dude we are four days away now five days we're, we're, we're technically we're, technically four days because it, it drops uh tuesday night tuesday uh monday night tuesday night? monday night uh i gotta look now the ninth is a wednesday so tuesday night yeah tuesday night i was right um yeah i'm um i'm i'm itching i literally i can't play anything else mm-hmm. i i every game i start i yep. put it down almost immediately connor i did start neo i'm about 20 mm-hmm. minutes in 20 minutes in um i like how it's the that's the monthly right uh it year? was i don't know if uh neo 2 i think is available right now neo was available a while ago okay okay, okay. Um, yeah, i'm looking to play neo 2 yeah, uh, so far, just off of game feel, I like it. It's it's very good game. Positive positive emotions about it, you know, off off the rip. Did you did you beat the first one? Honestly, there is a bullshit thing oh. at the end, and I never got through it. I never, oh. I, I it threw my head head at the wall, and I just could not beat it. Connor did not get good. I did not in this case. No, he did not get good. Sounds like a skill issue. Yeah. It might have been. 
Sounds like I'm about to whoop your ass, boy. I'm going to hold oh, that over your head forever. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, great. You'll have to do a game club of this one, then. Eh, maybe. <laughs> oh, you want to retain maybe that. Not. I'll go back and play it. If you if you beat that, if you get that point, I'll go back. You bet on that. Anyways, uh, how deep into this recording are we? We might fast track. No, we're okay. Um, yeah, so... Anyways, yeah, I mean, I've been chilling, uh, you know, uh, as we talked about in the review that you can watch tomorrow, I Platinum Dishonored this week. That's Platinum Trophy number 73 for me. Um, very happy about that. And then, uh, I mean, other than that, like, I'm literally, like, I don't know about you guys, but, like, I've been reading all the reviews, listening to all the reviews. I'm trying my best to stay away from gameplay footage, um, but, you know, IGN puts gameplay footage into their video reviews. Yeah. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. T stop mm -hmm. telling, stop showing me all these lines that Thor says. I don't want to know that Thor says these lines. Uh, Golden Bolt put out a pretty good video for it. I did like the Golden Bolt. I saw that one. I did like that one. That one was uh, was solid. Uh, I put it in the chat, but Kind of Funny did sort of a, uh, not really a retrospective, but just sort of a, an examination of Kratos as a character yeah, all the I, way from beginning to end. I started watching that, or at least listening to it last night um, as I was lying in bed, um, but I stopped uh, around when they got to God of War 2018, just because like I was tired and I didn't want to mm. like, I wanted to, I wanted to actually give it respect and, and actually listen. It's a good video. I like that video a lot. Um, um, Connor. So just because we mentioned God of War, big reminder, watch for spoilers. I've already been getting them in YouTube. I've, uh, I've gotten, I, I have not been spoiled. Uh, I haven't been spoiled anything yet. I just see like pretty obvious things that are obviously going to be in the game, like interactions with Thor. Yeah. Surprisingly, okay. they're going to I did, with one another. I did see I did see um like it showing up in my in my YouTube like recommended. There's like uh videos with like just just I can't really remember like what the thumbnails are, but it's like, oh, conversations with Odin, oh, talking to mm -hmm. Thor, oh but like I'm never I'm not watching the videos, you know. Of course yeah. No. I yeah, I'm sticking with I'm sticking with people who I think are um trustworthy and i don't even click on anything else like uh this is just like i i'll, I'll open youtube on my phone and i it, it's like it's already on the home page so it shows my recommended stuff yeah, result yeah. i know it happens all the time i don't get this i don't get this for video games avengers endgame that happened to me i got the the avengers assemble moment spoiled to me in a title and in a picture which like it wasn't like the whole moment so like when i was in the theater it was still lit as fuck but i was like oh they who? they come back who was it that who was it that we that we know that like had it spoiled for them walking into the theater? <laughs> no idea. I I have no idea. In game had in game spoiled them walking into the theater. I want it was either in game or Infinity War. I couldn't tell you. It, it wasn't it wasn't for me. I got spoiled. Uh, Far from Home, the post credit scene of Far from Home, which is uh, Mysterio revealing. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah. Peter's identity. Spider that got he's Peter Parker. That 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 got spoiled to me in a YouTube comment six hours before i went to go see the movie um but it was so outrageous i didn't believe it <laughs> so then i get to the end of the movie and i'm like oh none of the shit happened that they said it would happen and then that credit scene hit and i went oh, oh. oh damn dude i remember i remember that <clears throat> i think that's, that's, that was one of those moments where i had my hands over my mouth for yeah. a solid like minute after the, <laughs> the scene was over i mean even even the, they even like they played it for laughs obviously in in the post credit scene but he was like what the fuck? and then they cut it off at, at the at the fuck you know but that was me i was literally like yeah, what yeah. the fuck <laughs> you completed the fuck yeah <laughs> uh so uh and then i guess just to cap end it gentlemen what what are our current hype levels at for god of war ragnarok through the fucking roof non-existent yeah. Non-existent, Connor. Come yeah, on, I, shut I, up. I, I have gotten to the point. I really have. I've really gotten to the point where most games don't excite me until like the day before it comes out. Oh, really? It's strange. It's very strange. Yeah, but I like, like it. A kid, like, like a kid, like a kid on Christmas Eve. Exactly. Yeah, not like the kid leading up to Christmas Eve. So yeah, yeah. I'm not even. I'm. I'm like playing games, not even thinking about it. But I am going to be like excited the day of. I know for a fact I will be. I think for like the past three days, when I when I've come from home from work, I've I've made some kind of comment to Ash about how excited I am for God of War. <laughs> it was it was Just for me. It, it I was fine up until the day before the reviews, reviews dropped. Yeah. The day before, mm -hmm. when I was like, "Oh, reviews drop tomorrow." That's when it clicked, and I went, "Oh shit, it's fucking here." I'm like, I'm fucking itching. Yeah, I'm 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 very very excited. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a there's a small list of games that even match this excitement. For there me. there are several there are several uh, all caps 
comments in our in our Discord chat about how much I want this fucking game. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. I'm very Soon. very fucking excited. Oh my god, I can't fucking wait. And that god uh, i don't know how much you guys have been reading or listening but like they're like like it's saying like better than the last one some of them but like it, it's always like a conversation everyone is like eh, it's debatably better than the last one but it's like crazy for a moment it's evened out now but for a moment it was one point ahead on metacritic uh which has never happened in yeah. playstation history like where the sequel or the re-release or whatever did better than the original it's just not nope. happened so there was a moment and it's tied now last i looked it was tied um yeah. all i've seen are tens i don't even know what's bringing it down uh it's just got to be some whatever site that got a review copy or whatever uh giving it <laughs> an eight or a nine or something but like i'm i'm so hyped and then everyone is just raving about this story they're saying it's like the best written story in video games mm. greg miller called has as some greg miller is a guy who like doesn't like old school god of war and he was like uh kratos is the best written character in video games and i was like fucking what what happens in this game like shit must pop the fuck off speaking of pop the fuck off phil it's time for our next mini game no there's a pop off for you there you go there, you go. there we go off. what are we doing my friend uh we're playing you know just a good old-fashioned what am i looking at oh we're back with the what am i looking at good old-fashioned what am me I? me and connor at? are tied right now one one y'all are tied one to one yeah um all righty. So, for those that don't know, what am I looking at is a little show um, where I take video char- video game characters from all of uh, video game your uh, past, present, future. Even I've 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 gazed into the future and I've I've, I've input characters. No, I'm bullshitting. No. Uh, anyway, I I take a picture on them of them from Google Images and I zoom in real tight on a on a specific part of the image and Tavin and Connor have to buzz in and guess who this person is. And I have, I have some hints. Um, they might not be very good this week just because, uh, it's very last minute me putting these characters together. So I'm, I'm going to be coming up with hints on the fly. Well, we haven't needed a single hint yet. So no, you have, okay. you have, have last, we? last week. You did. Once. Yeah. yeah. For we Morden, Morden Solace. Ah, okay. Yeah. 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 Alrighty, so without further ado, if y'all can direct yourselves to the show doc uh, text chat, I'm oh, going to be uploading me. some some images for you. I've got it. That. I forgot about that. Okay. The people can see. Alrighty, here is everyone ready? Yeah, ready. All right, here we go. Here is character number okay. one. Bzz, damn it! Go ahead, Connor. Handsome Jack. You are correct. That is indeed Mr. Handsome Jack. He's so fast. How is he so fast? I have the eye of the tiger. I can fucking, there we go. Oh, Jesus. Don't fucking take two. There we go. <laughs> Fuck Christ. I can't drag this. Fuck. There we go. There he is. Handsome is Jack. Big guy. handsome. He's Freak. so handsome. He's handsome. He's got his a mask of his big. face on his face. Mm-hmm. What happened to his old face? Play pre-sequel and you'll find Play out. Play pre-sequel and you'll find mm-hmm. out. It's pretty fucked up. Um, all righty. Here we go. Are you guys ready monster. for character number two? Indeed. I'm ready. All right, here we go. Here's character number two. Buzz. Bzz. Go ahead, Tavin. That's Ezio Auditore, baby. You are <sighs> correct. That is indeed Ezio Auditore da Firenze. Da Firenze. Mm. Right, I played those one, games. One <laughs> here. One, Specifically, one, that's him from Brotherhood. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. is him from Brotherhood. You yeah. Good eye. Good eye, yeah, Tavin. Yeah, good yeah, eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll give you point one points there. Oh, nice! And if I it, got a and tip if of the it, hat. Yeah, and if it if it if it comes down to a tiebreaker, it, I will take away that point one point. <laughs> <laughs> it's there's five pictures, Phil. <laughs> just saying, just saying, just in case. Um, so here we go. We have the next character. Bit of a gimme. For who though? Buzz, Buzz. Connor, hit me. That's Toad. You are correct. That is indeed Toad's duel. I thought it was Sora again. <laughs> it was Sora. That's that's what delayed. Do, no, 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 no. I knew it was Toad, but like that's what delayed me the half a second. That uh-huh. sorry, Gave sorry. Hang on. There. Fucking shit happened. Hang on. Shit happens. There we go. But yeah, Hello? for for half a second, I thought it was Sora on some like fucking beach level or some shit. And I was like, <laughs> ah, that makes sense. Christ. 
He's got a lot of different outfits. It's just the way his the colors matched, and yeah, but yeah. yeah refreshing my go. power. There he is, Big Toad. All right, character number four. It is now two to one. Let's go. Where is this next one? Where did you go? Ah, it is right here. Oh, come on. It's Buzz. All right, Connor was first. Yeah, I that, is, that is Jet from Valorant. That's her fucking. You were correct. That that is, I saw the character. I knew the game. I just couldn't pin the name. That is Jet. I was gonna from say Valorant. Ash. Ash from what? Oh, from Overwatch. That, no, no, I knew. It was, no, I knew it was Jet. I just couldn't pin the name. I couldn't put the uh, name to the character. Mm -hmm. All right, gentlemen. So once again, Connor's fucking whooped my ass. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. We are we are down to the fifth and final character. You guys, you guys ready? Yep. Indeed. Buzz. Go ahead, Tavin. That is Laura oh. Croft. It's who? Laura Croft. Not Laura. Not, shut the <laughs> fuck up. It's fucking Laura Croft. Croft. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, it's, it's Laura Croft, yeah. Uh, fucking god damn it! The second it's old school second monitors fucking me up. There we go. It's yeah. it's old school. I almost didn't. I almost didn't. Uh, almost didn't catch it. There she yeah, is. Yeah, that confused me at first. I wouldn't have gotten yeah. that. That was a uh, that was a that was a tight one. Yeah, 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 yep. Two to three is the final score here. Connor has won <sighs> yet again. That brings y'all's overall record to two to one there in Connor's go. favor. Even Congratulations, Connor. You're just you're too fast on the good draw job. for me. You know what the problem is? I, I would be more confident, but last week I got confident and I lost. So you were very <laughs> confident, and, and you did eat crow last, last I week. Did. I, I do eat crow, yeah. <laughs> it's it's I nutritious. Crow. It's yeah, nutritious. Yeah. I might have a little bit of worms, but it's nutritious, that, man. That is yeah. a thing that we do. Yeah. And we can uh, get some crows and make some fight milk, guys. Fight milk? What? That's illegal, Connor. <laughs> it's not. No, it's not. Not if you can get them. So, Connor, and then not. Have you. Well, I, I guess I shouldn't. Well, Connor, just to, like, you said you've been playing games. What you been playing, bro? Um, ever since I beat Dishonored, the DLC specifically, I've been playing Chivalry 2. I've actually gotten a lot of time on that I game. I saw that on, just, on, on Discord. I saw, yeah, I saw you yeah. playing that. It's very fun because it's, it's, so comparing it to the other two games, Chivalry 1 and Mordhau, it's more refined and a lot more accessible. Well, I should say it's more refined and feels like a, a much fresher game compared to Chivalry 1, which some people could, couldn't could really play that game all that well because it was kind of just, you know... Janky. You just had to, janky. Yeah, that's a good word. Uh, Mordhau, which I still think is ultimately the better game. Uh, the, the problem with that game is it's very hard for a lot of people. You know, it, you have to get good at it. You have to put some time yep. into it. You really do. But Chivalry 2 is very fun because you know how, you can play it and do good at it from the out, from the get-go. You know, it's not one that has a super... It has a skill ceiling. It has a high skill level because the better you get at the game, the better... The more you play the game, the better you use the systems to your advantage, the more you're going to trounce your opponents. But anyone can really pick that game up and have fun with it and play it pretty well. So it's... You know, it's, it's a fun game. I've been playing it a lot. I don't know how much longer I'll be playing it since I am doing it by myself. And it seems like that's going to be the case for a while. And I do have Gundam Evolution, which is my other big multiplayer game that I'm still not dying on. So That's a fun one. It is a very fun one. So we'll see how much longer I last with it. But as of right now, I'm liking it. I would have put it pretty high up last year for my game of the year just because it's such a well-made, fun game. That's been my other big game I've been playing. What are Not to spoil our, our end-of-the-year list, but I think because the, this is the thing that matters the least, what, where, where are you guys sitting with like um, honorable mentions? Um, they're almost exclusively uh, co-op games that I played with Ash this year. And could it be? Co are these? I never really got the. I missed it last year. The honorable mentions can be whatever. Whatever you just Any. played this year doesn't yeah, matter really, what really year they came you out. This year, yeah. Yeah, just that's, something that's you played not, this year. Re relatively, you'd want to you'd want to keep it to something that's not necessarily something you played that's from this year. Mm-hmm. So, like, you going back, like, Honorable Bunch for you would probably be, be Chivalry 2. Yes, it will be. Or, or just, uh, or just you know, something that didn't make, that, you yeah. know, isn't going to make the list or some shit. Like, yeah. Yeah, of course. Like, so. for me, I had, I think, I think uh, last year I had, like, Dodgeball Academia on my, on my list, which is 
Just true. Which it was I nuts that you didn't that have game. any last year, Connor, because you played so many fucking games. I did. Like a lot of them. that, like yeah, had nothing to do with last year. Like, like yeah. I said, I- Horizon Zero Dawn for one. <laughs> See, I, I that's why I said I missed it last year when you guys started saying them. I, I remember I was like. Wait, what? Wait, if only that? someone in the group chat had explained the rules multiple times, if only someone had mentioned it 15 minutes before we started recording, like, <laughs> if only someone had done that. My thoughts exactly. I don't know. Here's the thing. I don't think anyone did, though, Tavin. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. man, what a shame, man. If only we had someone who knew how to produce if this only, podcast. If only. <laughs> someone needs to do better in that regard. Well, do not be um, sorry. Be but yeah, right now, better. for me... Like, I'm looking at, like, Se- Sekiro would be, currently would be my game of the year if it had mm. come out this year, but it didn't. It came out in 2019. Um, so that one is is sitting pretty high. Uh, also on my list, I wrote them down. Resident Evil 2 um, is in there. What was the third one? I wrote them down. Last of Us Part 1. Uh, just me. Just because I'm, I'm enjoying those, I'm having a good time. I didn't want to put Spider-Man on the list again because <laughs> that was an honorable mention for me last year. Oh, man. Um, I've got... What the fuck happened here? Oh, yeah, I've got... Um, it Takes Two, Moving Out, Overcooked, Stardew Valley, Mario Party slash Cart. These are... Those are all honorable, honorable, mentions? honorable mentions. Yeah. yeah? Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, uh, we've been playing some games when when there's time to play games. But you know, sometimes sometimes there's no games coming out. But now there's games coming out. <laughs> we got games coming out. It is not from God of War on. It is not going to stop until nope. April. No, not even then because we got uh, Tears of the Kingdom in May. Woo. Woo. Busy Woo-wee. six months. We're gonna have a busy six months, boys. Gonna Always gonna be something worth playing. Oh, Phil, Phil, you're gonna are you gonna find time for the Midnight Suns, like we uh like we talked about? Because we've got yeah. when when does Pokemon come out? Uh, the eighteenth of, of what month? Of November. This month. Okay. Oh, okay. No, yeah, yeah. You, you've got time because Marvel Suns is the third of December, I think, or the second, something like that. I think it's the same day second. as Cal- Callisto Protocol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the like. The, how I have it planned in my head, Phil, is I'll mm-hmm. play Callisto and review it that week, and then the following week I'll have you on to, to review yeah, for Midnight Suns. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get as far as I can. And then um, I think the I week think after the only... that is going to be Final Fantasy, Connor, which you'll be you'll be taking the lead on that one. I mm-hmm. will. I think yeah. the only the only the only games I'm like worried that I won't get a chance to really dive into and play. I mean, worried for one of them isn't really isn't really applicable. We got Sonic Frontiers is the one I'm not really worried about, but I'm four I days, like baby. To play. <laughs> I know, I know. I would like to play it. Um, and then um, High on Life. Oh, really? I I would like to give High on Life a try, but I think it's I don't think it's gonna make the cut. <laughs> There's just too many games. Mm-hmm. Too many games. Especially because it comes out the same day as Final Fantasy, and I really want to play Final Fantasy because it looks like a lot of fun. And then I got I got to double back to Midnight Suns at some point because that one looks good too. And I love I love I love the XCOM games. So much, even though this one's different, but still. Yeah, but it's 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 a fucking strategy game with Marvel characters. Yeah. Which reminds me, I gotta move. I gotta move Marvel Snap up. Oof. Your fucking top three is gonna be like fucking Power Oof. Washer, uh, Marvel Snap, and God of War. <laughs> Marvel Snap is not going that high. Marvel Snap is not gonna make it to the top three. You know what's a shame? Is yeah. you'll have Marvel Snap on your list, but you won't have Elden Ring there. No, I will not. Very sad. No Very shame. Yep. Guys, right now my game of the year is Power Wash Simulator. Like the fuck <laughs> Yeah, I know. That's why I said it was your number one. I literally Which, just said that was your number one. To be fair, like God of War aside, for me as a gamer, this year's been pretty mid. Like Really? It's been okay. Like I've had a couple of cool little gems or whatever with Sifu and with Power Wash, but like other than that, like ev- I'm, s- I've been swimming in fucking sevens all fucking year. There has not been a single game that I think is stand out or like, oh man, you gotta play this or this is dope. Like, no, there's not a game that like lingers in my mind. Mm-hmm. You know, like it, it, like it's, g- this is the easiest tee up 
for God of War ever. <laughs> like, like if God of War doesn't get it, something something went wrong. Something went horribly wrong. <laughs> I don't know. For me, it's been it's been nuts. I've 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 had a really good year for games. Um, between fucking po the Pokemon game for the Switch uh, back in February, Legend of Arceus, that game fucking blew me away. Um, fucking Elden Ring, fucking took up so much of my. Ugh. It's it's just been a great year for me. I I think this year for games. Uh, I mean. Aside from my experience with like Ratchet and Clank from last year, and Metroid too, like God, yeah. this year has been fucking nuts. Yeah, I I haven't felt a banger year since twenty twenty. Twenty twenty was the was the last like. Well, I guess that's just one year, but or two year difference. But like even I mean, like got, once we get to the end, I'm still gonna feel like this Hades. year was mid. Like, yeah, but yeah, twenty twenty was such a banger with Hades, Last of Us, Last of Us. Ghost of Tsushima. What else came out that year? Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal was fucking awesome. Um, yeah, like that was that was a banger year. Last year was fine. I mean, there were a couple of cool titles last year. This year, I if it wasn't for God of War, this year would be worse than last year for me. Um, wasn't twenty twenty also Final Fantasy? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it was. No. Yes. Yes, it was. Yeah. What mm -hmm. a fucking banger of a fucking year! Holy shit! God it damn. That year. And then like twenty nineteen was pretty good. I liked 2019 with Resident Evil 2, Fire Emblem Three Houses, Sekiro. That's a that's a pretty that's a pretty damn good year. 18 was great. Spider Man, God of War, Red Dead 2. 17 was was dope. Horizon, uh, Breath of the Wild. You know, like we had like year after year after year after year, and then like these last two years have just been like, okay, like I've 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 just felt I've felt the COVID hangover. I was gonna say it's got to be like pandemic, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just I'm hanging out. Next year though, next year is looking to be my fucking year. Let me tell you what, I'm excited. Oh, yeah. yeah, man. If, especially if Spider Man Two hits. If Spider Man Two hits, God, God, 2023. Hold on, take me out to dinner first. <laughs> Ooh, you'd be having fun that year. Especially, and if we're getting uh, Final Fantasy Seven revival, what is it called? No, integrate remake, integrate. No, no, it's, 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 it's the. Uh, oh, that's no, the that's a, the crisis core this year, but uh, the fucking no or integrate is the upgrade version. What is what is it called, Connor? It starts with an R. Reunion? Not a reunion. It's, no, reunion is the crisis core. Yeah, it is. Which should be the second. Rebirth. Part. Rebirth. Re that's what it rebirth. is. Yeah. If Rebirth, Spider Man Two hit and Spider Man Two hit, fucking sex, sex. <laughs> God damn, that's sex. How do you, how does it feel to have that? That's the year you'll be you'll be officially like halfway through your twenties. Uh, or, or over half over the hump through your 20s cool appreciate that thanks for that i have gray <laughs> i have gray hairs in my hair and in my beard oh well, I, uh, I don't have any in my beard but i have some in my hair ash picks yeah, them yeah out. They're, they're in my beard and i'm just sitting here I'm like fuck i mean it's okay because uh uh because nicole is like i mean you'll look good like silver fox so like she's like i'm fine with it you know you go as silver as you want and i'm like you know i agree i think i will look good with silver in my hair but like or gray in my hair rather but uh, yeah it's uh it's crazy Connor, what's your mini game, my, buddy? Time for my mini game. Huh? It is uh, which game of the year category one? I don't know what to call it. <laughs> uh, I'll be choosing video game of the game of the year categories, not game of the year sections. A best score, best art direction, whatever. Like game and awards categories. Okay. Game awards categories. Yes, for you two to decide which one won. Remember which one won. Okay. Uh, it's not going to be a a buzz. It's going to be whoever's right. Whoever gets win points. There's five entries, so we'll see who will win this one. You guys, I mean, and all, you're all giving us the nominees, right? I'm giving you the nominees. Okay, cool, cool. cool. I'll participate. Yeah, Tavin's probably going to win though. No, Dad said he doesn't remember everything. I don't remember. Yeah, once he gets once he gets past like game, like once he gets past the big five. How far uh, back are we reaching, Connor? It mismatch every well it, the, the largest goes back is uh 2014 yeah i was okay. gonna say like 2014 was the first year so yeah so we'll uh, i don't remember 2014 <laughs> well i guess you'll see that, that one's gonna be the hard one yeah that's yeah, hard well. but starting off we're going to the year 2018 2018 mm -hmm. with best narrative now mm, your options easy. are easy is, is it easy easy god of war mm -hmm. detroit become human 
Life is Strange 2, Episode 1, Marvel's Spider-Man, or Red Dead Redemption 2? I mean, I'm going to say God of War. Yeah, this is a clear, like, this is a toss-up between God of War and, and Red, Dead. Red Dead. Though, you know, resp- I forgot I forgot that uh, Detroit Become Human was even a game. Uh- <laughs> I, I don't think, I don't think, I, I don't want David Cage to get that win, if, I don't if think he already he has. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think he did. Cause, yeah, because that, that game was it. riddled in controversy. That game, yeah, that game, yeah, that, that game was pretty dead. He on also, he also insists that game's not about race. Like, Oh, it's 100% about race. Yeah. It's not even close. <laughs> like, it's, It can't be. There's Martin Luther King quotes in the game. What do you mean <laughs> it's not about race? Um, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna agree with Phil, and it's God of War. It's God of War. Well, it's gonna both you are wrong. Dead. Yeah, it's, it's Red, Red Dead. Dead. It's Red, Red Dead 2. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Which it, m- it must have been one of those we're giving game of the year to God, so yeah, we gotta God give this one to, yeah. to Red Dead. Let's let's let Red yeah. Dead have something. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Which Connor, I don't remember fully, but to my memory, Red Dead was was doing really well, and then the 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 actual game of the year award went to God of War. I think that's how it went. I think that's how that went. I just don't remember. That was the year when they had the big three up on stage with um, uh, uh, Phil Spencer. Uh, Sakurai, not Sakurai, fucking Miyamoto, Miyamoto, and um, Sean Layden. They had Sean Layden uh, uh, from PlayStation up there. That was a good year. That was good. That, that was probably my favorite game awards. Is twenty eighteen? That was a banger. Well, it spoiled the ending of Red Dead Two for Connor. Yeah, it did. Yes. But do you know what was even better? The hmm. year twenty fourteen. That's not true. The fuck came out in 2014. Well, you'll be able is that to Dragon that. Age. That's the Dragon Age year, right? Yes, it is. It is Dragon yeah. Age. Mm-hmm. But it is not among these because this is best remaster of 2014. <laughs> <laughs> Who will win? Bring it back! Bring it back! <laughs> so the choices are Grand Theft Auto 5 because you know they had a thousand because it because it went to ps4 <laughs> what that's, a remaster. that's a remaster it's because it was considered a remaster for that for that category. first person mode man <sighs> yeah halo the master chief collection Ooh. pokemon omega ruby and alpha sapphire oh, not not enough pokemon <sighs> fans the last of us remaster fuck okay <laughs> now this is a conversation and the strange one, Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, because it was originally developed by Crystal Dynamics, but redeveloped mm. by Nixie's Software and United Front Games. Yeah, that's when. Yeah, that also went from from 360 to yeah, um, yeah, Xbox One and PS4, 363 to yeah. You know, I really, I really, <sighs> I'm really sad to say that I, I don't think it's Pokemon. <laughs> it's not um, Pokemon. Phil. I'll tell you that right now. Um, as great as Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire were. Hard. Damn. It's just. So, hang on. Sorry. Can you can you give me the relevant ones again? I'll just go through them all real quickly. Okay, Grand Theft Auto V, Halo the Master Chief Collection, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, mm-hmm. The Last of Us Remastered, and Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. Okay. I'm going to say I'm going to say MCC. I'm going to say Master Chief Collection. Tavern. <laughs> not even in the conversation for me um just because i want it to be i'm gonna go god this is hard um uh, fuck man this is hard um do you go popularity or do you go well who you go with who won i'm gonna go grand theft auto 5 but i'm 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 almost certain it's the last of us well, Tavin, you are right. It is Grand Theft Auto V. Oh, fuck yes. For Let's some go. strange reason. I don't get that one. Well, I do get it, but I hate it. Popularity contest, man. I know. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah. Stupid. It should have been the last of us. The reason it's not Halo, it should have been a slam dunk for Halo. It's Phil. buggy. It should have. It was, it, yeah, you couldn't match make it launch. And yep. they didn't have it fixed by the time the Game Awards came around. Oh, that's true. I forgot it didn't get fixed until, like, the next yeah. January. Yeah. 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 Now, this next one might be the easiest or might be the hardest i don't know the last one was the hardest i don't know uh it is 2017 now going into 2017 mm. with best score Fuck. Mm. Mm-hmm. what had the best music okay and the... i think i remember this one 
well, the entries are Persona 5, mm -hmm. Destiny 2, Cuphead, Super Mario Odyssey, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, or Nier Automata. What is Fuck. the one? That's tough. I know it. I know oh. it. Do you know it? I know it. Are you waiting for Phil? Is that what you're I'm going to say... wait for Phil. Fuck. That's hard. That's a banger of a year. I'm it's between a banger Persona, of a year I'm, I'm between Persona and Nier. Which one is it? I'm going to say Nier. Tavin? Phil is right. It's Nier. You both are right. It is yeah. Nier. Nier Automata. Yeah. It's Great Nier. soundtrack. Yeah. I, I remember that one. Because that, that was like, I think that was the first year they did the, the, the orchestra and the band and the live music performances. Mm -hmm. I could be mm -hmm. wrong. But that's the first one that I remember it happening. I think it and, was. And, um. I remember Nier being in that category and me being confused. I was like, what? Mm -hmm. And then oh, it won, great. and Connor was like, no, the, the music in that game is awesome. And I was oh, like, yeah. oh, okay. It was tossed up between that and Persona 5. But that, that's Nier. exactly what I was going for, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's my thoughts, too. I think in my head back in the day, it was either Persona or Mario. Mm -hmm. um, I like Odyssey. I mean, Odyssey, when, when you think about it, I'm only, I'm only thinking of fucking Odyssey. Yes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what everyone knows. You see, yeah, it's the the one up girl song. But the rest of the music's good too. But it's that yeah, that's it's just such a banger. It is. Yeah. It is. It's good shit. Mm -hmm. But we're gone. I would vote from twenty seventeen. Yeah, uh, but near top of it. Yeah. But twenty fifteen now is what we're going to. Okay. With best narrative. What year? Twenty thirteen. Twenty fifteen. Best 15. narrative. Got it. Fuck, what the fuck came out in twenty fifteen? Are you all ready? This one's actually yeah. Uh, beginning with her story. Ooh. Life is strange. Mm. Tales from the Borderlands. The Witcher Three Wild Hunt. Fuck. Or Until Dawn. Ooh. A lot of bangers in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of my, in terms my, of narrative, a lot of bangers in that. My heart, my heart says Tales from the Borderlands. I would have voted for Tales of the Borderlands, but it is That's not Tales going of the for. Borderlands. I don't think so, really, but I'm, I'm going for it. What, what were the first two? Her story and then what? Life is Strange. Life is Strange. Okay, I don't think it's Life is Strange. I didn't play Her Story is the problem. Mm -hmm. Neither did I. Which 3 won Game of the Year that year, right? Um, 2015? Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's a toss-up between Her Story or, or Witcher 3, and I'm going to go Her Story. Dang. Yeah, you're right. I didn't even know. I don't even remember that one. I thought it was The Witcher, but no. Yeah, I got it. Is Her Story? Yep. Hell yep. yeah, dude. Which yeah. makes Tavin the winner for this one? Is that 3-1 one or 4-1? Or 3-2? Three, 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 there was one more left, but Tavin, it's it can't be tied at this point. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. But I will still go with... Uh, the 2019 for best art direction. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sekiro, Shadows Died Twice. Uh, the 2019? It's for 2019, yes. Okay. So Sekiro. Uh, Sayonara, Wild Hearts. Ooh. The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening. Gris. Death oh. Stranding. Or Control. Fuck. Oh. Best art direction. Who will win this one? I'm going to say Sayonara Wild Hearts. Yeah, Sayonara is a good one. Oh, God. Was it Control? Was it Control? No, I'm going to... Um, for funsies, I'm going to go Control. But I think it's Sayonara Wild Hearts. But I'll, I'll vote Control. Daddy, you, do, you are good at this, Tavin. It is Control. Is it really? <laughs> wow. It's Control, yeah. All right, then. Yeah, I know. So that's 4-1. It's like week one of uh, week one of what am I looking at? <laughs> <laughs> right. That was good. That was fun. I like that. Yeah. Oh man, that's cute. Is this control? Control. I don't know why. It's a fucking office building. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, granted, they do a lot of cool shit in that game. Don't get me wrong. That game is great, and it's got really good art direction. But over Sinar Wild Hearts, damn. Hey, people like what the people like. Well, the jury Who likes. Yeah. Whoever good voted game. for these things. I like control. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That is your piggy bank for this week. Thanks so much for uh, popping in and saying hi and all that skiff. Uh, 
We've got the Dishonor review pops tomorrow. Uh, and then after that, Two Penny Games cast on Monday. Hype on Tuesdays. Uh, news breaks out on uh, Wednesdays and Fridays, I think. And then TikToks all throughout the week. You know, check back mm-hmm. for all of those. Uh, follow us on TikTok, Two Penny Games, YouTube.com slash Two Penny Games, Twitch.tv slash Two Penny Games, and uh, 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 audio podcast services of your choice. Uh, until next time, have a great time. I've been Tavin. That, that's Connor. That's Phil. Uh, bye. Say goodbye to the yeah. people, gentlemen. Goodbye. Goodbye. I said bye already.